Hi Aquarius, I'm Anisha. You can write to me at tarubayanisha at gmail.com. You can also visit my website www.tarubayanisha.com. And this is your monthly forecast for May 2014. Aquarians, we begin this month with a new moon in Taurus that is going to be a transiting a part of your chart that has to do with home. It has to do with people with whom you share this space. It has to do with your uh, emotional security, your roots as to what is it that makes you feel secure. And with the new moon sh uh, shining brightly on it, there will be new opportunities maybe to reorganize, reschedule things uh, some things that have been working or not working at home. This house also covers your uh, mother, it co uh, also covers your uh, um, staff at home. So there could be some guests coming, going, maybe your staff just takes off uh, all of a sudden or there could be some new staff at uh, home. So there seems to be some amount of commotion that is happening uh, at home when, the, when we begin this month. Uh, the new moon is also going to be focusing on intimacy issues, especially in closest relationships. If there have been uh, issues in relating or being um, not just, I would say, uh, close, but there, there seems to be some form of a understanding issue that seems to be their uh, acquaintance as to where it is that you come from and something that the other person cannot understand. So I think that uh, or is refusing to understand. So a lot of compassion is required at this point of time and you will have to, uh, you must address this acquaintance, you know, don't sort of just brush it under the carpet and think that all right, it's just a temporary thing and it will um, get over. It's also a, a time where you will be seeing, looking at your support system and also how it is that you support other people. So it's a both way around, you know, it's not just that you have your family to uh, take care of you. Uh, uh, in this case, since it's the fourth house, it's mother and there's that much of a dependence that you have on her. But as to how it is that you're being that uh, supportive of her as well, what is it that you offer as well. There is also some form of a, a family related activity also that's taking place uh, as we uh, open up May. Maybe, like I said, you have maybe guests visiting you, extended families, maybe you're visiting their is uh, some family get together that is uh, over there there could be some repair work as well you know some newer things you think you maybe some new furniture you seem to be uh, getting into the house or uh, getting the house uh, newly painted so there could be some work in progress happening around around your house but like i said the key part of the new moon is the intimacy issues it has to do with things that are unresolved and now need to get sorted now Mars has been retrograde since March and Mars turns direct around the May 19th and it's uh, going direct in Libra and it's going to be transiting a part of your chart that has to do with uh, uh, which is going to be making you extremely adventurous more than usual and quite bold. So you will be out taking some risks which you normally will not and you will be feeling quite enthusiastic about the entire thing you know you will be feeling quite positive about it. Um, try and stay, however, don't take foolish risks, Aquarians. Uh, you know, be a little careful, the enthusiasm and everything is good, but uh, you need to be uh, slightly careful. You also will be looking to expand your activities and you could be looking uh, or wanting to gain some higher education. A lot of you will be wanting to uh, travel or simply study new subjects and there's a lot of excitement I think the Aquarian mind in any case is highly eclectic highly eccentric and always the thirst of knowledge is forever there so you will be more than keen you know it will be like a sponge which is sitting and is absorbing all this new information that is coming um, your way however try not to get since mass is there try and not get too opinionated about as to how it is that you want things to be or how it is that you think things should be be a little flexible especially while dealing with other people your peers a great time to be you know getting easily fired up if somebody challenges or questions you on uh, your expertise don't get too upset and don't get too uh, defensive about it it is also not a good time to be getting into any legal fights equivalents so for those of you who are um, in a messy situation not a great time to be picking up uh, your legal fights at the point of time now Uranus and Venus are conjuncting uh, 
in your house and this is a house where uranus loves being it's a house of mind and learning and it's a house of communication and uranus is the astrology's wild bad boy he likes to come and create chaos and uh, you know generally likes to turn upside down and venus is this lovely uh, creative and brings about all the love and gentleness and softness but in this particular house that's the third house uranus is extremely comfortable he is really at home because it's you know the mind gets more sharper more buzzing and it has to do with newer ideas with newer uh, innovations being interested in newer technology so your mind is going to be really buzzing with all the uh, new learning that is happening to you aquarius now this transit is also going to have an effect as to how it is that you view your love relationship or your relationship with your child aquarius so if you are used to looking at uh, say marriage in a certain way or your child at a certain way is there is a preconditioned thinking of how a child should be reacting or how a partner should be the responsibilities the way people should behave i think you will have to change that you will have to um, break that mold and look at things very differently it's no longer you know uh, that the conventional way of looking things is where uh, the answer will come from now while uranus is at home in the house of mind and interchange of um, information conversations which affect your immediate environment at times it can leave you completely isolated so it could be that all the information that you're giving or the ideas or the thoughts that you're sharing um, will not could not be you know will not be able to be grasped by the other people so you could feel absolutely alienated at some point of time you may also receive some new information regarding your siblings you may come to know something really uh, suddenly and something uh, new which you were not aware about uh, uh, a certain sibling there is some amount of a uh, travel that is there and it will be a very unusual journey that you'll take it will be a very different journey so the advice for you aquarians this month is to make small changes not to make these radical big changes one step at a time is the mantra for you this month so have a good may i'll see you again in june and thank you so much for watching